Hi everybody, it's Crystal. Thank you for joining me today uh, on my channel, Bag of Day Crochet. Um, if you're new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning friend of mine, thank you for joining me and coming back and seeing me again. So I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. I am doing great. So I'm going to do a video today. Uh, this was a, a video that someone recommended that I should do um, on they recommended it on Facebook to me and I thought well you know what that's a pretty good video I think maybe a lot of people would enjoy it um, or benefit from it as well so I'm gonna be t telling you some crochet uh, lingo I guess um, or knit lingo I guess you can use it for that too um, so maybe sometimes you know I'll say abbreviations and people won't know what they mean and um, sometimes people are too embarrassed to ask. You never, for one thing, you never have to be too embarrassed to ask anything if you don't understand, especially me. Um, you can ask me as far as crochet and yarn and stuff, even if you think it's a silly question. I'll never, I mean, I'll always answer you to the best of my ability. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you some uh, crochet uh, lingo. I, I wrote uh, all of them that I could think of down. <laughs> so maybe it'll help some of you out. So, a, a whip or a MIP, W-I-P, M-I-P. WIP stands for work in progress and MIP stands for make in progress. People will use either one of those. They pretty much mean the same thing, WIP or MIP, okay? Um, a PhD stands for project half done. Your project's half done. NFO is a finished object. That means your project's done. You have, um, a, you know, an FO, a finished object, something that you can show. Um, next up, we're going to do, let's see. Okay, a UFO is an unfinished object. It means, you know, it's not finished. A USO is an unstarted project. Okay, and then we have um, Foth and Hoth. Those kind of mean the same thing. Foth, F-O-T-H, is fresh off the hook. That means your project is just right off the hook. Or H-O-T, ho um, Hoth, hot off the hook. H-O-T, H-O-T-H, I'm sorry, hot off the hook, yeah. So it just means, you know, you're done. So either one of those is the same, fop and hop, you know. Um, you just finished, you just got it done, you're ready to show it. <clears throat> oh, there's another one. Uh, now nah, it's not commonly used, but it's a uh, joth, just off the hook. Um, some people do use that. I've seen it be used before. I don't usually use that. I usually say hot, uh, hot off the hook, so. <laughs> okay, but it's J-O-T-H, just off the hook. Okay, and then if you see someone that says that they're bi-stitchable, um, that means that they know how to knit and crochet. I only know how to crochet. Um, not everybody that knits knows how to crochet, and not everybody that crochets knows how to knit. But if you do, you're bi-stitchable, if you know how to do both. Okay, next is um, a comma one, a cal, or a C-A-L, which stands for crochet along. A crochet along is um, something that people will have. Um, I've had one, one time, um, where say um, I'm, I'll make up videos and you will, like I'll release, say I'm gonna make a blanket and I'll just release certain sections like once a week and you crochet along with me once a week and at the end of a certain week period you'll have your finished crochet along. So that's what a cow is. Um, the, the, the term de-stash, uh, many of you probably know that, but de-stash means that you're getting rid of yarn that you have, you're de-stashing it, um, by the means of selling it, gifting it, or donating it, something like that. You're just, you know, de-stashing, kind of loosening up, uh, your yarn a bit, get rid of it. Um, freehand, when you freehand, um, that means that you crochet or knit, um, without a pattern. Um, you can, you know, freehand it. You don't need a written pattern or a, a visual tutorial to crochet. You can just do it um, off the top of your head. Um, let's see, uh, frog a project, F-R-O-G, or sometimes called frogging, 
means that you are ripping out your project because you made a mistake. Um, so the term frog or frogging kind of comes from you're ripping out, ripping it out, rip it, rip it, kind of like a frog. That's what it means. So when you make a mistake um, you're f and you, you pull it out, you're frogging your work or you, you're frog, you're frog, you're, you know, you frog your project. It's frogged. You made a mistake. You ripped it out. Okay. Um, LYS. LYS means little yarn shop or a local yarn shop. It can mean either one of those. So let's see what else we got. Um, here's one that's not too commonly used. T-A-L-C. Talk. It's a take a long, take a long crochet. So it means that you, you often take a, you, you, you talk, you take your crochet along with you. I guess, it, you know, it, it, it me, take a long crochet. It is what it is. <laughs> um, yarn barf. Um, a lot of people don't know what this is and that's just fine. I'll show you right now what yarn barf is. I hope I can get it. Yarn barf is when you are pulling from the center of a skein or a cake and it comes out in a clunk. That's yarn barf. It just barfed. It just barfed it out. Blech. Yarn barf, or yarn bomb it. Some people say that too. So either one of those. Uh, yarn bomb is another one. Yarn bombing is is it's fun actually. <laughs> I yarn bomb my mailbox at one time. It's where you take like objects commonly outside um, and crochet around them. Um, a lot of people sometimes you'll see towns that have yarn bomb trees or yarn bomb signs, um, things like that they just, you know, crochet around them. Like I said, my mailbox was yarn bombed. I went out there and crocheted around my whole mailbox. I actually have a video, uh, where I, a tutorial where I show you how to do it. But yes, it's, it's, that's what a yarn bomb is. Um, and the last one I could really think of off the top of my head is Crojo. Uh, Crojo is, uh, it's like your crochet, crochet mojo. Like it's the, um, the need, um, to crochet or to make something, you know, the need to be creative in some way or another. And you'll often hear people say that they lost their crojo. That means that they lost the feeling or they have no inspiration to crochet. Um, they're all, and they always wonder what they can do to get it back. How do I get back my crojo? You know, the crojo is the feeling that you want to crochet. You need to crochet. So those are just some common terms. The ones that I could think of off the top of my head. Now, please, if you know of any more that I did not mention, drop them down in the comments so everybody can read them. So, you know, everybody can learn all the basic lingos of <laughs> crochet and, and stuff like that. Um, that will help a lot of people out uh, for all the ones I'm sure I missed plenty, <laughs> but those are just the most common ones that I could think of. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys.